Hello guys and welcome to this week's game log, game log number 10 and this week I have been very busy and I have actually finished the level of detail stuff which is great but we'll get to that in a bit. If I turn around here you can see that I've got some new tree models this week and also some new lamp models. Uh, the trees first, they have leaves which is a huge improvement on the last model. Um, they're even a bit better textured than the last ones and also their polygon count is so much lower than the last models. The last models were I think around 60,000 polygons which was absolutely absurd but these ones are around 800-900 polygons which is a lot better and as you can see I've been able to put a few more trees around the place which is nice it makes everything look just a bit more jolly. Um, so yeah that's the first thing. Also these little lamp models which are pretty basic and aren't really much but they're a good sight better than those giant glowing men that we had last week. So one other little thing that I've done this week before I go on to the level of detail stuff, uh, the camera movement is slightly different. As you can see here it now follows you when you go up a hill. Um, but it still doesn't follow you when you jump because I didn't want it to feel like the camera was attached to the player but obviously the player still needs to be able to go up into high areas of the map and the camera needs to follow it. So I thought this was a pretty good compromise. So yeah, that's all the little things I've done this week. So now we're going to go over here and I will tell you all about the level of detail algorithm. So at the moment there are six levels of detail that an object can be rendered at. Uh, level of detail zero is actually the highest resolution level of detail that is without any sort of simplifications at all and as we go higher level of detail one two three they become more the, well, the models become more and more simplified and the textures as well and yeah these are the objects that are further away so usually the level of detail that an object is rendered at depends on how far away it is from the camera so the nearest objects are rendered at level of detail zero and slightly further away ones at level of detail one and so on and so forth. Um, but I've changed that now so that I can show you exactly what level of detail is what. So this is level of detail zero without any simplifications at all. If we go into level of detail one there you can see a slight change of the texture and that becomes more and more obvious as we go through level of detail two, three, four and at level of detail five actually nothing is rendered at all. There are two things actually going on here. First of all the textures as you can notice are becoming a lot more simplified, a lot lower resolution as we go up the levels of detail but at the same time the actual meshes themselves are becoming more simplified they are losing a lot of polygons and this is just all helping to speed up the game to get some higher frame rates and yeah that's the main, the main aim of this update uh, so first of all I am going to show you how the texture simplification works so for the textures I used uh, mip mapping which you can see here if you don't know what it is it's basically just a texture which has in it a lot of other lower resolution versions of the original texture uh, it's, that's not very well explained but hopefully the uh, diagram here will do a bit better than I did in explaining what it is but yeah I used that for the trees and also here you can see it's the same thing for the plants and that works quite well. Um, it's important because I only have to load up this one texture and I can still render all the trees irrespective of what level of detail they're in. Um, but for the trains this is a bit different. I actually couldn't do a mip map because I couldn't work out how to do it with tiling. I don't know if you know how to do that please let me know in the comments. Um, but I couldn't work out a way to do that. So I just use a different a completely different texture, just a low resolution version of the original texture but for each level of detail it does have to swap between textures which isn't ideal but it does still lower the, the time taken to render it so I guess that's still okay but not, not ideal, it's not too, too bad. So if we take a look at the actual mesh of one of the models, let's have a look at the tree again because I don't actually have many other models in the game. Uh, for this you can see that I lo lose a lot of polygons as we go through the levels of detail. 
and this obviously speeds up the rendering time and I've done this using a algorithm called edge collapse something I can't remember something to do with edge collapse and yeah it's pretty simple basically I just take a mesh search for the smallest edge and then I just collapse it so I put the two vertices of this edge together and that will remove the edge and the two triangles next to it and then you just repeat that until you've got rid of enough triangles or the required amount of triangles so yeah that's how I did it for the models but for the terrains it was a bit different because they're more regular the meshes if you have a look there they're really regular and symmetrical and it's a bit easier to remove the right ones and if you have a look here as we go through the levels of detail you can see that the vertices are removed pretty regularly in a regular kind of pattern and I just made up my own algorithm for this and so it works pretty well. It, was, it would never work in real time because it's a ridiculously slow algorithm because I didn't know how to do this and I just did it a terrible, terrible way. I don't even want to talk about it. But it works and that's also done, you know, before you play the game so it's no hit to the game speed and obviously it speeds up the game because it's simplifying the models and it works quite well and yeah I'm fairly happy with it actually it turned out a lot better than I thought it would and yeah it speeds up the game which is of course ideal so that is about it for this week that's all the level of detail stuff done and explained and uh, yeah, thank you for watching, and next week, what am I working on now? Uh, server client stuff again, I'm going back to the multiplayer side of things, and having a look at how efficient that is, um, well, I know it's terribly inefficient, so that's why I'm going to completely redo it, and yeah, that's going to be a bit boring, and it's not going to change the game very much, and that's, yeah, going to be a bit annoying, a lot of data processing stuff uh not much fun but hopefully you'll be able to see that next week or maybe the week after depends how long it takes um so yeah thank you again for watching this video and i will see you next week